Hi friends, we have a new feature for the duplicate change date button. So usually when you have a monthly calendar and you click on duplicate plus change date, it will add you a new page plus it will also change you the calendar and the dates in it. However, we now have a new button. It looks like the following. It's this one right here with the three dots. If you click on it, you will see this menu here appear and you can choose how many times you want to duplicate this page. So if you want to create a calendar for the entire year, you can create this monthly page here and start in January. And then you can say to maybe add additional 11 pages. So you can type in 11 and then you can click on start duplicate plus change date 11 times. And it will now add you 11 pages, plus it will also change the dates for you. You can create as many pages as you want, 10, 20, 30, 100 or 300 pages at a time. And then what is new is this menu right here, um, where it can select how fast you want to create the pages. So if it's a very simple planner like this monthly page here, then you can select the fastest option, which is 0.2. But if it's a planner that is more complicated or you have many stickers on the planner, or if you in general just have a very slow internet connection or your computer or device is slower, then you can also choose to maybe set it to 1.8 or two seconds which means it will make you new pages and it will wait two seconds until it makes the next one. So this will give it enough time to create a page for you before it jumps on to the next page. So here I have selected two seconds and you see it is much slower than it was before. Um, you can also click here on stop if you want to stop the process. Now again I'll select 0.2 so you can see the difference see how fast 0.2 is and I recommend you to use 0.2 or just even um, 0.5 or 0.8 seconds if um, you're creating a more simple planner. I can also give you an example with um, weekly pages, starter weekly. Let's maybe open up uh, this planner right here. So this one's a dated weekly planner in January. And if I now click on the menu down here below and I, for example, want to create 52 pages, which means 52 weeks for the entire year, I can type in here 52 or 51 and then click on start duplicate. And it will now create 52 pages, meaning 52 weeks for the entire year. And it will automatically update all the calendars all the monthly calendars and all the date flags in the planner. So this is a great way to create um, yearly data planners for X amount of weeks or days or months. Here is a daily planner. Let's maybe set it to January 1st and then I also set the calendar to January 2024. Okay. And now if I now, for example, click on 365, and click on duplicate. It will now duplicate the planner 365 times and it will automatically update the dates and create a daily planner for the entire year. I hope this feature is helpful. It's also helpful in creating digital planners. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!